Mm. And in my mind, immediately I pictured, and I apologise for this, a chorus line, all linked arms, doing this very slow. (laughs) Which is nothing to do with the song, but that's what picked into my head. And welcome to another episode of The Audio Files. Tired of drifting, searching, shifting from town to town. Every time I slip and slide a little further down. I can't blame you if you won't take me back after everything I put you through. But honey, you're my last hope. And who else can I turn to? More on that later. But first, we have a tune to listen to. Andy, what have you got in the barrel? Ah, we've got some Wunderbar in the barrel. Um, That is the name of the band. And the song that I want you to listen to is called Alien Blues. Alien Blues. Okay. Wunderbar, you say. (laughs) Yes, yes, I do. I'm so restraining myself right now. Yeah, I know, I know. Your penchant for using accents. I know what you want to do right now. Anyway, I shall uh, I shall go off and uh, and uh, listen to this and uh, come back and give you uh, my thoughts. Excellent. Second. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I like the chugging guitar. Sounds good. Vocals are a bit. Um, sound like they're recorded in the bottom of a bucket, sort of thing, um, which is cool. I've got plenty of songs like that. Um, I made out the first line song about was it the best you ever had? Um, the na 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 oh 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 sing along kind of familiar reminiscent of something it's not the same as something but uh and i did hear him go shit 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 i'm sure i heard that um interesting start love the thumbnail um we'll see how my god this is a short song i was gonna say see how this goes but we're over halfway <laughs> okay short and sweet <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that was an interesting episode. Um, I'm not sure. I like it. Actually, had a lot of charm in it when we over. Um, and they did lots of tiny variations, actually, with a sort of treading bit and then the sort of really almost soft picking bit. Um, God damn, I'm going to have to listen to that again. I was starting to find myself enjoying it towards the end. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. God damn, I'm going to have to listen to it again. Better get back to Andy and uh, find out what the hell is going on. Okay, you're back, and what say you of Undervar? Okay, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I went for a bit of a journey on this song, which doesn't sound even feasible, considering the length of the song, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, first off, first impressions, I like the thumbnail. I just liked it, you know, no reason why. I can't tell you what it was I liked about it. I just, yeah, cool, I like yeah. that. Um so it starts with this chugging guitar riffing and bizarrely it's almost almost exactly the same as the start of the song something for the weekend by super furry animals i doubt that wunderbar have even heard of them or this song but um Super Fairy Animals is much higher, but it's ding, 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 and it kicks in the song, and it's just almost the same, just weird, because mm. I think it's riffs circulate in the ether, and artists plot them, and, you know, that sounds cool, and they may or may not have heard it, it doesn't make any difference, but it's nice, it just reminded me of that. Um, I thought, oh, this is nice, it's a good start, and then the vocals kick in, um, and I think the first line was, was it the best you ever had? Was it the worst you ever? <laughs> now, apart from the na 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 ooh, 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 and shit shit shit, that's about all the lyrics I got. There was the odd word, definitely like alibi and something else. But I have to say, when he started singing, wasn't that keen on the voice, and it did sound a little bit like it had been sung from the bottom of a bucket. Um, so I was like, ah, oh, there's like oh, not so much. Um, so he sings the first verse, which is all right. And then the aforementioned na 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 kick in and the oh 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 part as well. Um, so they change the pace for that and they slow it right down for the sort of teasing nas with just the guitar and a bass note at the end of the phrase. And then the cheeky little limbs that are the oh oh's kick in. And there's also a sound at this point. Now, there was always one kid in the class at school who would do this, that sort of flicking your cheeks you know, in the hollow to make a sound like a water splashing. It reminded <laughs> me of that. You know, very interesting. Well, all of this, to me, sort of gave off like a schoolyardy vibe. You know, and even the, the na-na's, they weren't sung that way, but it's almost like na 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 and, you know, and so, oh, 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 it's like, they are definitely kind of, cheeky stroke defiant stroke piss taking you know it's weird that's the vibe i got from it but then they do another rotation and the next load of nars build with guitar chords and it's that slow sort of powerful da, 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 da. and in my mind immediately i pictured and i apologize for this a chorus line all linked arms doing this very slow <laughs> high da, 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 which is nothing to do with the song but that's what picked into my head and then there's another change of tempo um and it goes into a nice sort of frenzy of chugging um and then he sings something about like it a bit better or something and he definitely sings the line shit 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 at that point um i think i had the word alibi as well and i stopped the the uh, reaction at this point to comment and i was talking about what i was thinking and then i said oh we we'll see how the song develops and i looked down and realized we were well over halfway at this point so, oh, okay so it's a really really short song uh, which sort of belies some of the sort of what's going on in it. So there's more taunting and chorus line kicks. And then there was this great, this is my favourite bit, this trilling from the guitar. And it probably kicks in with the rise and fall of the sort of rhythm section. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, it's almost, it doesn't sound the same as, but we say this a lot, but it's almost like Muse-like in the way that they do that. You know, you imagine Bellamy doing his little trills over the top yeah. and the... You know, I don't know if this is a three or four or 28 piece band, but, you know, there was that sort of attitude to it. And I really liked it, actually. Um, so there was 
also within that section there was this like shuddering effect which i i guess was from a synth or something like that, which mm. again was really nice as well i'm now i'm starting to warm to the song at this point um and back down they go again this time there's like this real um like subtle picking of the guitar and you could almost hear his fingers on the strings as he's picking it and they play the notes then rather than the the, than the chords for the sort of chorus bit which was really interesting because it gave it this stretched out thin feel and i got an image of somebody like you could almost see through them or the, the ribs are showing it was just like really thin mm. and then it bloody stopped just as i was like oh, i'm really getting into this and i'm it's finished so yeah i went through a few things in my head um i think it's quite easy to dismiss this sort of start song at the start as i kind of pretty much did because of the childish nature of the what it sounds like the na 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 na's and all that but i found it was having an effect on me and it did feel like a bit of a roller coaster with all the changes and quite almost like an emotional whirlwind which again sort of counter to this na 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 na's and on face value, you could see it as being quite superficial and, you know, and sort of laid back the way he's doing it. But actually, I felt a lot of tension in this song. I've no idea what it's about, but it did have a certain charm which won me over. And I, mm. and I said, and it, ironically, I said it twice, but it needs repeat listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> that warrants repeat saying. <laughs> So yeah, um, I went from like, oh, this is interesting to, oh, yeah, I'm not keen on this, to, oh, actually, I actually quite like this. But uh, for a really short song, it's actually quite complex. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mean musically, technically, they weren't doing, you know, grade eight level shit or whatever. I just that the way that it sort of flowed, um, I don't really talk about structure that often, but the way it flowed was quite, it, it did... They didn't do it just, I don't think, for showing off like some sort of proggy type bands do. Um, it just felt like it was tumultuous almost, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm why, but I just felt that, that's all. You know, so yeah, it's really interesting. No, I think it's it's really cool. It, it, for a first, for a one-time listen, you've only listened to it just the singular time. And for it, for it in that two minute and 40 second duration yeah. to make you go through these different, like, opinions of the song itself in that quick like it changes you and it, i mean that's a lot for a sh very short song right and one listen yeah. to a very short song so that's kind of impressive and um yeah it is an interesting little song which is why i, I picked it um i also like what it's about which we'll get into when we go over the lyrics or whatever and the name kind of i think suggests what it's about but uh but yeah, yeah sorry it's, I just say a couple of things. Sorry, quickly, I forgot to say, the alien blues just made me think of not little green men, but alienation. Yeah, um, and I could see this being a sort of cult favorite. So I could see yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. people coming into it quite easily. Exactly. Yeah, you know, and you're right. Your supposition about what it's about and not you know extraterrestrials, but it being the feeling of being a an alien uh, or alienated. Um, is exactly what it is, and we'll get into that when we go over the lyrics. But I want to touch on the band first. Um, any guesses as to where these guys are from? Well, with a name like Wunderbar, I'm thinking Croydon, <laughs> Austin, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, when you think about someone like you know Pixies, Boston, that sort of attitude band, it kind of yeah. does make sense. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. And they the band is a three piece. Um, okay. so it's funny that you had kind of like particularly mentioned that. Uh, they consist of Brandon Hagen on vocals and guitar, Drew McDonald on drums and synthesizer, and Zach Abramo on the bass. Um, as influences, they're kind of all over the map as far as who they've said has influenced them as artists. So they've named Dick Dale, who is like one of the, like the godfathers of like surf American surf rock guitar. Um, and the OCs, who we've covered on this. I didn't write all the different ways that they've said their name throughout their history, but that's who we're talking about. Um, yeah, uh, and like, there, them, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just to the OCs, that's like six or seven different bands, right? Um, I remember his 
serial killer notebook with all the names <laughs> in. <laughs> exactly. And the drawings. Um, <laughs> then uh, an electronic band called Burial is also someone else that they've said has influenced them, as well as Tame Impala. So they've right. got uh, quite a wide swatch of influences on their sound. Their musical style has been described as indie rock with elements of post-punk, jangle pop, and surf rock. All music describes their style as jangly, fuzzed out math and surf tinged indie rock shot through with plenty of post punk spirit. Uh, the well, band that's is just released... an obvious label, isn't it? Really? Wait, what's that? <laughs> it's just an obvious label. Very lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> um, the band has released five studio albums and three, P, uh, three EPs. Uh, and for their second album, Gawk. Uh, Vundabar adopted a more gritty tone and that's the album that this song is featured on which is the thumbnail that you saw um, that very crudely drawn individual with the frazzled hair <laughs> it's pleasing, um, I don't know why but it is pleasing yeah, to the yeah it is fun uh, and um, they also this is around the time that they started to incorporate more of a post-punk sound uh, into the mix and Gawk received widespread praise from critics and fans and quickly became the band's breakthrough album uh, and Pitchfork called the album a charming, chaotic pile of surf, math, and art rock, um, which I think is an excellent way of describing the song and the album. Uh, Anna Marchetti of Sound of Boston writes in her review of the album, On Gawk, chunky bass-laden riffs support buoyant vocals that venture to a side of, uh, to a side of Wunderbar that's darker than their debut album, Antics. The Boston Trio have, have established themselves as a unique Baroque pop meets freak folk hybrid that comes at, at a refreshing as a refreshing change of pace from the predominantly post-punk wave that seems to be sweeping Beantown. Um, and in an excerpt from a review uh, on the album on WordPress, the critic describes the track Alien Blues by writing, This one kicks off with a stuttering, fuzzed-out riff that flows into a seasick-sounding chorus that packs a huge wall of fuzz. Um, and I actually think that that is uh, really apropos, the C6 sounding chorus, which does have this sort of like, I don't know, uneasy tension or anxiety about it, um, which I think is really, really neat and probably goes with that sort of theme of antisocial or being an alienated and not feeling like you're normal or fit in or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the lyrics really quickly. Um so was it the best you ever had? Was it the worst you'd never know? I tried to tell you what I think and pay it and play it off like it's a joke. Oh no, more surprises. Guess it's like this. I'd do anything for you, Mrs. Highness. Na 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 and then all that the nas and the o's. Um and then verse two. Uh the sun is fun, the land is dandy. I only talk to dogs because they don't understand me. My teeth are yellow, hello world. Would you like me better if they were white like yours? I need a purge, my urges. Shame, shame, shame. Not shit, shit, shit. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, I, mean, I could have sworn it was shit, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need an alibi to justify somebody to blame. It's halibut, party bitch. Give it, give it a name and say, hey, hey. And then it goes back into the chorus, which repeats itself, the nas and the ooze and all that fun guitar shit is happening in that bit. And yeah, um, I don't know, for a two minute and 40 second song that kind of covers this um, interesting look at feeling like you're not, you know, part of the norm or following societal norms and you're an alien unto yourself as a uh, pretty pretty fun way of doing it against this interesting backdrop that is this jangly guitar shit that's happening all over the place and i, I just think it's fun and kind of manic um and throughout the song Bunderbar explore the feeling of being an outsider or an alien as the song title suggests portraying the desire to fit in and be understood the lyrics paint a vivid picture of a lonely individual grappling with her own identity searching for meaning and connection and yeah, that's a synopsis of what it's about. You pretty much picked up on that from Go. Um, and thank you for giving it a listen, man. Yeah, it was fun. Awesome. My Great. emotional roller coaster. It was yeah, fun. a little bit. A little bit. Just interesting. You know, not like, woo, yeah. woo, but like, oh, man, this is really introspective, but over this really playful sound, um, which only adds to the, the, the what makes it interesting to me anyway. So, 
Everybody out there in the listening audience, let us know what you thought of Wunderbar and this tune, Alien Blues. Uh, if it makes you think of anything, if you enjoyed the guitar, if you weren't much a fan of this song at all, that's all right. The comments field is there for a reason, and we love interacting with you guys. Also, drop suggestions if you'd be so kind. We will continue to slowly, slowly chip away at that. But uh, we always enjoy our Friday episodes and, and hearing new music from you guys, or one of us revisiting a song that we know and giving it to the other, knowing they haven't heard it yet. So... Uh, we always appreciate you guys helping us create content and interacting when we create content on here. And feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. We're trying to grow the channel. So if you're new here, think about staying true here and sticking around. Um, we drop episodes Monday through Friday. Uh, so please join us on the next episode of The Audio Files. See you later, guys. <laughs>